Vision systems are built to allow for non-player characters to recognise objects within defined fields of view, typically through use of view cones, where a cone, or a triangle if it's a 2D environment, of a fixed radius and height is projected from the front of the non-player character. If an object intersects with the shape, it registers a signal that says that the object is seen by the AI. Typically the longer an object stays within the cone, the signal becomes stronger over time. Hence this is used to ensure that you're not spotted immediately upon intersecting the view cone, as an NPC will typically wait until the signal is strong enough to recognise you. Now view cones are a well known and commonly used technique, but they're fundamentally flawed, because that's not how human eyesight works. A view cone is often a fixed angle and distance ahead of the character, whereas humans have close to 180 degrees of vision and can see fairly far in front of them. So one solution is to make the view cone wider. But this presents another inconsistency, given our eyes are built to allow us to focus on specific areas, meaning that we see sharper and more clear, but in the process of doing so, it makes everything else in our peripheral vision blur. Hence Blacklist, like many other games, adopts multiple view cones to represent different types of vision, and the detection thresholds and rates of signal increase vary depending on whether they are designed to model close or distant vision. But the thing that Splinter Cell does to stand out is that the view cone isn't a cone, it actually looks a lot more like a coffin. This ensures the NPC maintains clarity of vision in front, but also prevents them from having strong peripheral vision at longer distances, making it more realistic. In addition, the size and shape of each cone is tweaked for each difficulty setting, allowing for more blind spots on lower difficulties, but giving expert players a run for their money. Plus, for spotting the player, there is an additional suite of sight checks that are made given the player is more or less exposed depending on the stance they are currently in. Sam Fisher can be in a variety of different poses, with some, like being in cover, designed to conceal your position. Hence, in order for the vision code to detect the player as seen, they not only have to be within the cone itself, but also the character has to successfully run multiple sight tests on the player to see how much of their body is exposed. The non-player character runs a raycast from its eyes to eight of the bones in Fisher's skeleton. The more of these bones that are visible without anything in the way means the character is more exposed. Depending on the stance the player is in, the enemy NPC needs to successfully see a minimum number of these bones before it will recognise your presence. Hence, standing in the open versus crouched behind cover have completely different rates of detection.